Is that it down there? That's some cloud of dust! Are those all monsters? This seems to be a counter-effect of Astal's losing control. It's as if the monsters of the world all came and gathered here. Is Flynn really down there somewhere? Probably. What next? We gonna fight every single one of them? Fine by me. Just give us two days and we'll beat them all. Probably. Two? You can't be serious! Rita, can't we use that Dane Nomos you made? You gonna blow them away like doing it to the Atafagos? Right. Applying directivity to the power of spirits and forming a barrier-like force field to eliminate the monsters... Yes, it should be possible. But this was made to be used against the Atafagos, right? But this is our only option now. To use it now or wait till later? This is quite the conundrum. Could you let us use it, please? I beg you to. The day Nomos. I want to believe it can save mankind. Yes, if we can't deal with this easily, there is no way we could stand up against the Atafagos. All right, let's do it. It's rare to hear Yuri ask for a favor like that. It's our chance to do Yuri a favor! Cut it out, guys. So, what's our plan? Activate it in the area where the monsters are all concentrated. That's it! Simple, right? Yeah, it is. No kidding. Why don't we give it a name? We can't just call it the Rita de Nomos. Huh? I'll leave it up to you. Uh, hmm. Uh, I got it! How about the Vesperia number one? I should have known better. It's got a nice ring to it. Besides, it's nice and simple. Even Baul will need to keep some distance. I'll land further away. Okay, let's do it. What a mess. We're going in. Look, over there. Flynn! Hey, looks like he could use some help. I can't see anything. We should hurry. No need for caution, just charge right in. Let's go. Stay close. can do uh, I say we are done for this is the end you idiots stop your whining Gah! damn you alive Yuri what are you doing here thank your second in command for thinking of you Sodia but our current situation's bad. It's only a matter of time until we fall. We have a little special something. What? Light this thing up in the middle of the monsters, and then watch it go BOOM! In the middle of the monsters? There are a lot to get through. Come on, it's us! This is nothing! <laughs> Alright, let's go! Hey, we're gonna go turn this thing on. Keep things going here. Just you two? Are you stupid? We cannot let our guard down here. If we can't defend this place, we lose the very reason for taking out the monsters. This isn't to defeat the monsters. This is to protect the people. That's right. Understood. Leave it to us. We'll do everything we can. Much obliged. Take care, you two. Let's go. What?
Don't go getting yourself ripped apart. You'll get yourself killed if you keep watching me fight. <laughs> Come on. I'm just in awe of the great Flynn Shifo. Sh shut up! Hey, this isn't the time to get worked up. I am not worked up! It's okay. Don't hide it. Would you be serious for once? I am serious. I can't concentrate with you talking all the time. Well, I can't concentrate without talking, so we're kind of stuck. <laughs> Hey! A shining thing! Drop! Run away! Shining thing! Shining thing! Not done yet! Run away! Shining! Commandant, you're not too bad either. I've unlocked new strength. We're about to the middle. I'm still up for some more fighting. <laughs> you look like you're actually having fun in the middle of all this. <laughs> you do too. Now, Yuri. Right. Take this!
There. That should be okay for now. Th thank you so much. Your Highness. Don't push yourself, okay? Vesperia number one broke, huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, seems like the materials we used to make the body were too brittle. It was our fault. Don't worry, the core is fine, and I can repair it. It's just... What a sad ending. Estelle has saved their lives, but they shouldn't move for a while. I guess we have to stay and defend them for a little more. So why not just make this a fort? It's been a while, Yuri. I've heard stories about brave Vesperia. I guess the mercenaries I hired weren't sufficient. Sorry for the trouble. I'm sure the guilds are in chaos right now, too. Thank you for your help. It won't really make up for things, but I'll help with the defense. You're going to fight? Oh no, I'm a merchant. Just watch. Commander Flynn! You're alive! Witcher! Is something wrong? Yes. That tower near Ospio has created an unusual formula around itself. Judging by the crests, it's absorbing some kind of power. In addition, all residents throughout Elikia have reported feeling strange. Absorbing? Feeling strange? Is it absorbing human life? Duke. Life is very pure mana. Does he intend to use it to attack? This is what he meant by exchanging all human life to destroy the Atafagos. The formula is expanding in stages. At this rate, it could affect the entire world. No! We can't just stand around. But the spirit's power alone won't be enough. Even if we repair Vesperia number one, that alone won't be enough. What? But it took out all those monsters! Judging by the size of the Autophagos, we'd need several hundred times the power. Several hundred? That's gonna be tough. Facing this calamity is going to take an insane amount of power. I guess we have no choice but to change the cores to spirits. Wait, could you explain what you're talking about? Oh yeah, we meant to talk to you all about it. Hey Flynn, we want to tell Yoder and the guilds too. Can you call them here? <laughs> oh Yuri, you seriously want him to call the Emperor to a place like this? You never change. I could say the same for you, Yuri. What? <laughs> okay, I'll see what I can do. In exchange, you all go talk to the people of the Union in Palastrale. Okay. So I guess we're off to Dongrest and Nordopolica? Yeah. Mind giving us a ride? Thank you. For, um, saving... Flynn. <sighs> you guys go on ahead first. I'll catch up. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Why? Because I can understand why you tried to kill me back there. There's something you just want to protect. Even if it means dirtying your own hands. You lose your senses in the heat of the moment and find yourself doing things you'd never imagine. I know what I have done is unforgivable. It would have been easier if you'd blame me for this. Don't flatter yourself. Don't think I'm here doing this for your own good. I'm not going to put the blame on you just so you can ease your conscience. What should I do? I have no intention of lecturing you about rights and wrongs. Go figure it out yourself. <sighs> if you can't, go ask someone you can talk to about this. But not me. As Flynn's friend, I'm grateful for the loyalty you've shown towards him. <laughs> 